Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna share two extremely useful things I use on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10, and that I've also used on my Samsung Galaxy S10 and the Note 9 when I used to have those phones as well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, this has to do with your edge screen which is the screen right over here on the corner, okay? And the tools that I use on the edge screen, uh, the first one is known as the soft key edge panel, okay? So as you know, all these things are known as the panels. Now, this is the one that I use. Uh, it has five functions, but my most favorite function is the lock function. So basically, without having to uh, press the power button, which is on this side, you can lock the phone with a softer key by tapping the lock button and boom, the phone is turned off, okay? And then you can go right back in and log right in. On top of that, the soft key edge panel, which I'm gonna show you how to get in a minute if you don't know how to, uh, also replicates these three buttons at the bottom. So you got the recents, home, and the back. The same thing, you got recents, home, and the back. So if I tap on the recent button, it's gonna bring the multitasking pane as you just saw, all right? So that's fantastic. On top of that, there's a very convenient little feature over here known as a screen capture. You tap on this, boom, it takes a screenshot right away. All right, so to get the soft key edge panel, all you do is you go to the settings, all right? Then you go into your display and you go into the actual edge screen, which is right over here. And you wanna make sure obviously that your edge panels are actually uh, activated so you can access this menu right over here. But once it's all enabled, you go inside, uh, you tap on this button on the top and you go to the Galaxy Store, okay? Because you're not gonna find this edge panel available in the pre-installed panels that you're gonna see here by default. So you have to go to the Galaxy Store and then from here you wanna to go to the top free and you can download the soft key edge or you can just search for it right from here, okay? So all you do is you tap on it and it's gonna download it. So if you tap on this, now it's gonna ask you to install it. Once you're installed, what's gonna happen is you come back to this menu right over here, the edge panels menu that we accessed uh, from the display settings and all you do is simply enable it. Just tap on this and it's enabled, okay? So that's the first thing I do use, the soft key edge panel. Now, I did say there's two things I wanna show you guys. The other thing that I use is known as the Smart Select. Now, Smart Select should be available on your phone. By default, uh, it's right over here, Smart Select, okay? So this basically allows me to take a unique, precise screenshot. So let's say I was in any of the apps. Let's say I'm on this app right here. I wanna take a screenshot of it, not the whole screen, maybe just a little portion of it. I can go over here to my Smart Select, tap on this thing right here, uh, bring this screen anywhere that I want. For example, let's say I wanna take a screenshot of only this area right here. I click Done, and boom, that gets saved as a screenshot in my gallery. Now, I can do the same thing with this one. I can do an oval cutout, I mean, not a cutout, a oval screenshot, as you can see. So if I do this, click on Done, and click Save. Now, if I go to, back to my gallery, you'll see I have the first screenshot here and the other one right over here in that particular styling that I chose. And then I have the other option right over here, which is the animation. So I can tap on this one and you can pick any area in the screen and tap on record and it's gonna record it as a GIF image. You can do, if there was a video playing in the background and I tapped on record, I can create a GIF animated image of that video. You can try that with YouTube if you want to, all right? So then we have the pin to screen and you guys can play with the rest of the settings. But these two things are something I wanna talk about. Remember, go to the settings, all right? Go to display, uh, go into the edge screen right over here. And of course, go to edge panels, go to the store to download them. I don't think you have to download the smart select. It might be built into the system, but just enable it. And they're gonna show up right over here. As you can see, soft key edge, all right, uh, quick, tools, not quick tools, I'm sorry, uh, smart select. All right, so that was a quick video on two things I use in my edge panel. It's a very useful little area. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. If you know of other edge panels that, are, that you use personally, drop a name down below so other people can benefit as well. 
All right, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.